Cobra Gold is one of the several training exercises the U.S. conducts with Thailand. But it's not just about military exercises. Part of their visit is also to exchange cultural experiences and to help the locals in what is called the Community Relations Project. Today they're at the School for the Blind, so let's see what they're doing. Standing now with Chaplain Craig. Hello, sir. Hello. How are you? Hi. Thank you. You're part of the Cobra Gold exercise, correct? That's correct. How many ships are involved this time? There are three ships: uh, the USS Essex, the USS Denver, and the USS Germantown. And what are the missions? Uh, the missions are uh, multifaceted. Uh, we're here, obviously, um, to. Uh, to do combined military exercises with the Thai uh, Marines, the Thai uh, military, um, to build our relationships, uh, uh, to grow in our understanding of how we work well together, to, to train the Marines to, uh, to do military operations in this type of environment. And part of that is community relations projects, right? Yeah, absolutely. How many projects so far? How, what are they doing so far? Um, I can't even count how many projects we've done. We've done um, medical projects where we've had some of our uh, military medical members go out into the community and provide uh, any type of medical care that's needed. Dentists going out into Thailand and, and providing dental care work. We've had some of our engineers go into the community and build, uh, build houses, build buildings for orphanages and so forth. And then we've had several uh, different Marines, as you see in the back, go to uh, different organizations like here at Father Ray's organization and, uh, and do painting, interact with the children, um, do, uh, do service projects, and so forth. So quite a few. Quite a few. What are they doing today? So today, as you can see in the back, uh, the Marines are uh, currently sanding a fence. And this is, uh, this is uh, Father Ray's uh, School of the Blind, and this is their pool facility. And they needed their entire, pa they, they needed their entire fence painted, so we're going to sand it up and we're going to put a fresh coat of paint on it for them. How many people do you have with you today? Well, right now, here at this location, we have uh, 14 Marines and two sailors. And then we have an additional uh, 16 Marines over at uh, Father Ray Center uh, School for the, Dis for the Disabled Children. And uh, they're over there uh, teaching them English. All right. And um, for this one, how long do you think it's going to take them? I'm hoping that we'll have it done within a few hours. Uh, I think, yeah, I, I think uh, we have hardworking Marines. Uh, they love serving. They love uh, being able to, to give to the Thai community. And I think they're going to work hard and get this done as soon as possible. possible. <laughs> we thank you very much for we your thank service. You. Thank you. I appreciate it. Hello, ma'am. Hi. <laughs> What's your name? My name is uh, Lance Cobra Feliciano. Part of the states are you from? I'm from, I lost my voice. I'm from South Carolina. Okay. Have you done this before? No, this is my first time. You know what you're doing? I'm sanding a fence down <laughs> so we can paint it and a little later on today. Okay. So how, how hard is the work? What do you think? How hard is? How hard is this work? It's not that hard. It's nothing that nobody can do, right. you know. Right. We have nothing else to do, right. so. So they just give you the sandpaper and tell you just sand it? Sand it down. Sand it down. Sand it down. <laughs> What's your name? Uh, 
Randy. Randy, Randy, last Pitts. name? Pitts, P-I-T-T-S. Okay. Yes. Uh, have you done this before? No, this is my first time to Thailand. Have you done any, a uh, first time in Thailand, yes. but have you done the sand, sanding yes. down before? Yes. Where did you do it? Uh, Okinawa. Okinawa. And uh, Tokyo. Mm -hmm. Is that part of the Comrel as well? Yes. Okay. Where did you go in the school? Uh, I can't remember now, I think so. Yeah. Okay. And back at home, did you do any home improvement? Yes. Uh, what kind? Built a house, uh, a log cabin out in the woods, mm -hmm. uh, a couple of sheds, uh, did a lot of woodwork. Okay. Yes. So they actually got the right person to do it? Yes, very much so. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Sitting now with what's your name? Uh, Lance Kobachan, ma'am. What are you doing? Are you making a potion? No, ma'am. I'm I'm pretty much stirring this paint to make it a little thicker because it was too loose. So it says it takes a while to stir, but I don't know how long it's going to be stirred for. So still, you'll keep doing it until until it gets a little more better than this. So you seem to know what you're doing. Then have you done this before? Nope, but I just know how to stir. All right. Made potions before. Of course, love potions. <laughs> What's your name? Uh, Jack Kerbeck. Okay, can you spell your last name for me? K O B A C K. Okay, thank you. You look very casual and very easy going with your painting. Are you enjoying it? Yes, of course. Have you done it before? Uh, slightly. Like slightly, not professional. Like Dog's house or a fence or something? Yes, yeah, like bedrooms and stuff. Painting my room. Bedroom? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. What color did you paint? Uh, it was green, I think. You think? You're not sure now? No, I it's don't. It's been a long time. It's, no? it's changed its colors. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, thank you. What's your name? Uh, Jenny Harper. Okay, can you spell the last name for me, please? Yes. H-A-R-P-E-R. -E okay. Alright, have you painted before? Not really, mm -hmm. but um... I'm getting the hang of it, so... It doesn't look too difficult, no, right? No, definitely not. <laughs> Where in the States are you from? California. California? Yeah, Pleasanton. Okay. Hmm? And you've done any home improvement back home? Um, I've helped my dad paint the house a little bit. Um, I usually work kind of in the yard, not too much so. Mowing the lawn, that was a chore. Right. Pretty good at that, okay. so... I'm sure your dad's proud of you. Yes, very proud of my dad, too, oh, thank so... You. <laughs> Well, this is not the only place that the Comrel is going on. Let's take a look at other places. I'm now at the Redemptorist Vocational School for the Disabled. Here, the students will get to learn English with the Marines and the sailors, as well as compete in the wheelchair basketball. So let's see what they're doing now. I'm sitting with the lovely English students here. Hello, what's your name? <laughs> My name is Aladi. And your name? My name is Ailada. My name is Yawaret. Good. What's your favorite food? I know you wanted to talk about food. What's your favorite food? My favorite food, uh, shoot, uh, bamboo shoot. Bamboo shoot, you know? Bamboo shoot. How do you make it? Is it in a curry? Is it with garlic? How is it? Uh, it's made from uh, bamboo, uh, lemon, lemon juice, chili, um, sauce, uh, a little bit of soup. Do you fry it or do you make a curry out of it? Yes, I can make. When I can, I come. Uh, back home, I make it. it. Why do you like bamboo shoots? Mm, I like Isan food. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now we talk about your family. How many brothers and sisters do you have? Uh, I have one brother. 
Tell me about your family. Um, huh? Um, um, my uh, my father, my father is a merchant. Uh, my mother is a housewife. I have one brother. He is a uh, study in high school. What are you studying now? You, uh, I am study um, computer and business management. Okay. All right. Now we come to what's your name again? Yawaret. 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 So what are you studying here? I we are studying computer and English program. Do you like it? Yes. Which one more, computer or English? Mm, I like English. Why do you like English? I want to speak English with uh, the other, such as foreigner. Today you have uh, the sailors and the marines here, the American guys and, and uh, girls. They are here to teach you English. How do you feel about it? So good, <laughs> because I I will practice English with the with the, uh -huh. and we are very fun. <laughs> Had a lot of fun, yes. And what do you plan to do after you finish your your course here? I want to find a good job for myself. In computer? Oh, I like I like I would like to be a receptionist in the hotel. We are witnessing teaching English in action. Let's see what they're talking about. Hi. Hello, how are you? I'm good. <laughs> What's your name? Uh, my name is Michael Stanley. Okay. Aren't you supposed to be teaching English? I am, but they're teaching me Thai, and I'm te they're good. They're good uh, English speakers. I don't know Thai, yeah. so we're conversating to learn English, and they're helping me out on my little. little That's thai great. Story. That's <laughs> great. How many Thai words have you learned so far? Uh, two just now. Okay. Now, what was that? Oh, uh, okay. Um, Exam number one. <laughs> I'm gonna fail this one because I forgot again. What is hello? Hello is uh, sawa kada be. Okay. You right? Is that right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And thank you. Thank you was help me out over there. Come on, can I phone a friend? Can I? And thank you is kabun kra. So thank you is kabun kra. Kab kun 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 kra. <laughs> okay, say it fast one more time. Ah, better. Okay, okay. Yes, we uh, earlier we did uh, word games where we passed the ball and uh, they got the ball and then we would say a word for the category over five letters and they did a good job. Yeah. So they're very, very good at speaking English. Okay, so what's the plan this afternoon? The plan this afternoon is to go out on that basketball court and get beat by the uh, school team because I hear they're good. They are very good. Very good. They're very good. So we're looking forward to that? Yes, I am. I am. I'm, I'm, I love basketball. It's my favorite sport, so I'm ready to get out there and do it. Do your best. I will. I will. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
standing now with Master Sergeant Alderet. Hello, ma'am. Hello. What do you have in store for them here today? Uh, today we are um, helping with the English speaking. Um, the students here are learning English. They stay here for two years to become fluent in English. And the, my Marines and I are here to assist them, do some activities, play hangman, maybe some cards, uh, and just interact with them on the English speaking level. How, how did you find, how do you find the English to be? What? What kind? What level are they? Uh, the group that I'm with is very well. The girls uh, are in their, they're in level two. They still have another two levels to go before they graduate. But their English is very good. They, they are do, and they, they seem to really want to learn and enjoy it. They're in a vocational uh, training, and they really look forward to finding a job after this. Yes, they do. Is the uh, the four girls that I've worked with, we've got one that wants to be a lawyer, so I'll definitely look her up if I need assistance ever. And then I've got two that wants to be a secretary, and another that wants to be a teacher herself. So she may end up uh, helping other students either here or maybe go on to another school and assist. I'm very sure that whatever you're doing here for them will give them a lot of motivation as well to become better. Yes, it's been an enjoyable experience and we're having a great time. Uh, in the beginning they were a little shy, but now that we've been spending the last couple hours with them, they seem to really opened up and they want to they want to be, you know, they're more uh, open to us and they're asking us more questions. So we're having a great time. <laughs> we're all having a great time. Thank you very Thank much you, for being here and helping out. Thank you. It's our pleasure. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm talking about, yeah. Get in there, kid.